When I was looking for the correct speed SD card to get for this Fuji X-T3, I knew eventually I would be capturing a 4K video. I knew I'm always photographing in RAW, and I can tell you that it is so important to have a fast, right speed card in your camera, no matter what make or model it is, because when you're working on the job and you're working fast, there's nothing worse than seeing that LED on the back of your camera blink and blink and blink because it's still writing. Uh, it makes me very nervous because if you continue to shoot, are you gonna corrupt the file or the write speed's gonna be a problem because the card can't keep up with what the camera's RAM can do and the processor? It's a problem. So absolutely get the right card for the camera you are shooting. When I was shopping, I came across these Sony G cards and every single review I found on these little suckers were excellent. They're very fast and they're actually very affordable for what you are getting in an SD card. So look, I do not have any affiliate links to earn any credits as far as you clicking on a link below and I get some kind of small percentage. Um, I don't have anything like that. However, I can tell you, um, you can find these things just about everywhere. If you like me, you will try to find a better price at a place you're used to buying them from. And whether it's Amazon or Newegg or B&H, Adorama, you name it, just do your Google searching. There are always a little bit of a sale depending on where you're going. And as long as you're getting the Sony with the G on it, you're good. One last piece of advice I can absolutely give you. This is a 32 gig card, which I started with this, and I was running out of space quicker than usual because this camera is just so fun to shoot. You blink and you're like, wow, you really do write a lot of megabytes to a card when you're shooting in RAW and JPEGs. And I can tell you the 64 gigs that I have are perfect. So while there are many different name brands that are really, really good SD cards, I figured let me make this video for you guys. I'm getting questions um, often on my Instagram account and people are asking me, you know, what is the best SD card to get? And since I have owned this camera for over six months now, the Sony G cards are what I use and I've never, absolutely never, have I had a hiccup or a problem or an error or anything like that. They just work, man. So look, I hope this helps somebody. If you're browsing which cards should you get for the uh, Fuji X-C3, for the new Sonys, for whatever camera that you're able to take an SD card and do 4K video, um, you need a fast card. So make sure you pay attention to the read and writes, pay attention to the um, numbers that are actually on the card. R and the W is very important. The um, read speed, I'm not concerned about. The speed I'm concerned about is the W, the write. The write speed is more important than the R because you're reading. Why you, how often are you reading from your car besides playback, which is very short, just to make sure you got the shot. The write speed, the W, is way more important. I can tell you this. When you're browsing these cards online, some of them will offer you the card reader as well as like a little package and i almost did not get this thing just because i have a card reader right well this sucker that's designed for this works so much better than just putting this in your computer and importing this thing makes a difference because the technology on the inside of here is made to read from the newer SD cards with these little gadgets back here, okay? All the little points line up with the points in here, therefore read and writes are much faster. When I tell you quicker, I mean quicker. Trust me on this, just get this piece, at least one of these things, so your multiples of cards will read a whole lot better if they're this generation card. 
So I hope I helped somebody today in your search. Um, I did hours upon hours of looking at reviews and I have never worked with a Sony card before. I'm actually a Transcend card guy. I've never had any problems or issues with those cards. And going to another name brand, I know it feels weird when you're shopping, but from me to you as a working pro, these cards work. They just do. All right, see you in the next video. Peace, y'all.